I didn't want to put a song from the album because it, I didn't want to scare you off so early. So this is the intro. <laughs> Fresh off the shower. I don't know why I'm doing that in my intros now. So I have made an executive decision. I'm going to focus on the album suggestion list. Screw all the wave of like the mainstream. Well, I'm still going to listen to Kids See Ghost, but I'm going to listen to it in the car. We're going to listen to Machine Girl today. <laughs> God damn. I am gonna be that one YouTuber that listens to your stuff. I'm talking about the things you play when when you're alone. You know, when you're just thinking about life. I, I want to know that album. Tell me. And I'll put it in my album suggestion list. But yeah, I really want to be that one YouTuber. The underground reactioner that's gonna listen to the things that no one is willing to listen to. I'm talking about all genres, any any time period, as long as I haven't listened to it. Okay? So welcome to S. Let's go. First song is Because I'm Young Arrogant. Ah, you know the name already. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, uh, but I did not expect that. It literally it scared me. Oh my god. Okay, so it's that type of genre, huh? There's some heavy stuff. I can't even understand the words they're saying. Okay. The rise. Next one is fuck up your face. What genre is this? It's this is experimental or something, right? So they're in the dance electronic genre. This I don't know. It doesn't seem dance danceable. This isn't danceable. I like this thing, whatever they're doing. Oh! They're going like off time right here. I mean, as a drummer, I could appreciate some of these things. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I like this song, but only the second half. Next one is Dumbass. Okay, let me sing, let me try to sing along to it. Look at my atmosphere. No, I can't. Oh my god, am I weird? I could have skipped it and pretended that I listened to the whole thing, you know? I'm pretty sure a lot of YouTubers do that. Like, they, they cheat their way. But I'm not cheating my way. I've, I've, I've never cheated my way. Except for uh, the JJ Fish review. I could appreciate the production, like the production changes. But... I, I don't think it's my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. But I, I can't really say it's bad. I'm, I could see why s some people would listen to this, you know? They're still weirdos though. Next one is 9 minutes and 43 seconds. I'm guessing this is like an interlude. I mean, it's definitely unique. I feel like if you just go along to it, you will like it more, you know? Just pretend you like it, and you will like it. In mind here, this is not the usual type of songs I listen to. I mean, it could sense a lot of anger in this music. It could, this could be, this... This could actually go on my workout playlist. I mean, I have death grips, I have a lot of, uh, metal, uh, dubstep, like heavy stuff in my workout, uh, playlist. This just seems like someone's, like, shooting someone, and the person's just like... I like how it's just changing. It reminds me of uh, what? Ah. The one that made the album 99.9%. I think it's Kate Trinata. Kate Trinata is weird too, but I love his music. The next one is Vomit by Bonnie. I mean, Vomit? Bonnie.
I'm gonna find whoever requested this and I'm gonna shout you out because you're making this channel interesting. I mean, I'm interested. This is weird, but I'm interested. You know, it's, it's fun to be a little different sometimes, to go out of the norm and listen to something that I have no idea what the hell I'm listening to. That was Vomit. Interesting name. Next one is Sad Claps. I wonder what's going on through their minds when they're when they're making this music. 20% of me likes this. This is so strange. Every song's a, a, like different though. That's good. The next one is an, a, a, a fun, a go go. This one sounds like a normal song. I mean, it's not normal, but it's the most normal est. Dude, that's a word. I mean, I like the freedom, though. The, the producers or whoever's making this music just does whatever the hell they want. They're not trying to create hits. This one is bitten twice. Okay, I'm having trouble listening to the lyrics. I try to look up the lyrics on Genius. And it just has a question mark. Look. You see that? Damn it. You see that? Has a question mark. Even genius. Even genius doesn't even know what the hell they're saying. I think I think it just says don't get bitten twice. Something about white guys and something else. I don't know. The sound is very staticky. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't feeling that one. And that's not saying that I was like completely feeling all the others. Next one is Better Beast. I wasn't feeling that one either. I I don't know if if the excitement of this new genre kind of like dipped. But I'm not, I haven't been feeling the, the last two. Okay, the next one is Sleepy. This one's a little different. It doesn't start off that, you know, it like rises up to it. I like that. I like when something rises and then falls and it gives you time to digest it. See, I like this one. This one was pretty chill. It was relaxed. I feel like it just wants to put in relaxing music in between the album so you don't have like completely hard tracks all the way they didn't even write any lyrics for this song i'm guessing they're just like all right we gotta put something soft so then we could come back harder i mean look the next one if it's hard i'm gonna be like i told you so told you I never would have thought that these type of sounds would come out of the, a speaker and be called a, like a, a like a, a song. What's going on? I don't even know what I'm doing. I want to stop it, but I don't. Like, I want to know what keeps going next. Like, it went from like, samba to like, heavy metal, cyberpunk, rock, whatever, to like, techno or something. This, I think this is my favorite one. Cause it just changes, it changes so much. Next one is Machine Girl versus Wolf Girl. So it was just raw, unmatched energy. It's just energy that I feel like it was like metal mixed with electronic. Thing it made you feel something. You weren't just like this. 
you know you had to feel something it, like the crescendos the rises and the and the falls and the and the drops i had fun listening to this will i listen to this again probably not i probably will listen to the one that i can't even read but thank you to whoever suggested it just uh, suggested it and the title fits in well for me personally a six out of ten because it wasn't bad but definitely not my cup of tea so I, I can't give it a seven for me personally but in someone else's mind it, it's a nine out of ten so yeah i'm putting you guys on priority next review if i'm correct i think it's the death grips review i think it was no love deep web so i'm gonna be listening to no love deep web and if an i don't know and whatever album comes up next friday so right there's horchata so yeah i gotta get a haircut i'm 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 gonna arrive there like 15 minutes late damn um so yeah i'm gonna get a haircut and like subscribing oh wait wait this are chat all right this are chat them like subscribe and peace right so this are chat signing off like subscribe and peace damn it i missed oh my god my wallet broke nah it was already like that